Hi there, I'm back. I'm gonna go into more detail about the franchise disclosure document. So you may ask me, so what is a franchise? I'm actually gonna read the definition by the International Franchise Association because I think they did a great job defining it. The International Franchise Association, which is the association that I happen to be a member of, defines a franchise as a method of distributing products and services involved in a franchise the brand trademark and trade name and a business system, that's the important part, and the franchisee, that's you, who pays a royalty and often an initial fee, which is the franchise fee, for the right to do business under the franchisor's name and system. So, you know, be grateful that it's a regulated industry because if you were to go to a trade show, and you were walking down the aisle and you had a franchise over here and you had a vending machine person over here, what's gonna happen is you're gonna to wanna to know from the franchisor, what kind of money can I make? Remember, we can't tell you, but don't over when you go talk to the vendor, he's gonna tell you, you can make a million dollars. Why? Because he's not regulated like we are. So I really believe that those regulations are in place for a reason because the most important thing for you to think about as you're starting this journey is that you want to find a business that suits your skill set, your passions, the things you love to do so you get up every day and you're excited. And if you're doing all of those things, the money will come. But if you buy something just because of the bottom line, because you heard you could make a lot of money, that's probably a recipe for disaster. Because if you wake up in the morning and go, oh, I have to go do that again guess what? Nobody wins. So please don't do that. Okay. Here's some other things in franchising. You can't be an impulse buy. When you get involved, they are going to have you sign item 23, which is called a receipt. What that says is that on today's date, you receive this document and that starts the clock ticking. What I mean by that is you cannot make any decision. You can't trade any money and you can't sign anything for 14 days. Well, 14 days doesn't seem like a long time, but I can tell you that it's very strict and legally if they do it before those 14 days are up, you're gonna, it's, it's a disaster for everybody all the way around. So the 14 days are there for a reason and please understand, don't let anybody push you. I guess that's really the point I'm trying to make. The other thing that's important for you to know is that we have what are called registration states. Well, what does that mean? That means that I'll read them off to you. California, and they're the toughest. California, New York, and Maryland, I think are the three toughest, and probably Illinois. Those are all registration states. Uh, Indiana, Maryland, Minnesota, and New York. And what that means, like here in California, the franchise company not only has to get approved by the state of California, it also has to get approved by the federal government. So it's like a double dip. And so if you don't know that and you're in California and you're poking around the internet and you see a company and you reach out to them and they never get back to you, that's why they're probably not registered here. So that's one of the reasons you want to work with me because I know who is, I know who isn't, and I'm going to save you time, money, and you're not going to be making crazy mistakes and getting sold by anybody. And that's my passion is to educate you and to coach you so that you're making the right decisions for the right reasons. One of the other things we will be doing is I will be referring you to a franchise attorney. As a matter of fact, one of the sessions that we will have in the coaching program is I will bring a franchise attorney in as a generalist so he can kind of answer your basic questions and then you get to know him. And then when you narrow it down and you find the one you really love, then I will refer you to him and he will help you, you know, go through the document to make sure you understand it all and help you make that decision. And also, if you're looking for a location, he'll also be able to review your lease too. So all of those things are really important. Now, there are certain items that we'll have you look at. I say there are 23. One of them is item seven. And I always like to talk about this one because this is the page where they highlight all the costs. And the reason I like to mention this is because in item seven, there's gonna be a low and a high. And you're gonna go, why is there this big gap? 
It's because the federal government said, I don't want you to have any surprises. So what a franchisor does is he looks at the stores that have opened and what was the cost of developing those. And then he's able to look at the numbers and those variations are gonna come by the square footage. Is it a vanilla shell? Is it a tear out? So they've got a whole bunch of stuff they have to get out of there. Did they, did the franchisor do a really good job of helping you negotiate the lease? Because that's one of the things they'll do is they'll help you negotiate that lease. So that's really important. And then they'll get you a lot of free rent. And you know, those vary, depends on the area, all of those things considered. But anyway, that's a little bit about the FDD. Don't be afraid of it. Remember, don't read it ahead of time. And just understand that there are gonna be some registration states and I won't be introducing you to any companies where you're gonna get all excited only to find out they're not registered. So thank you very much. I'll see you in the next recording. Bye.